Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the eye animation um, and first you have to actually mask out the eye um, and also paint out the face, which I've already done, I've painted out the face um, if I can find it uh, here I've painted out the face, I left the little eyebrows in or whatever they are, eyelids um, and now I need to mask out the head and just to keep in. I'm just going to do one eye, but you can do both. Um, and I'm not going to make the eyes move this time because it's a much longer process and I just want to do the simple worship, simple eye animation first. And I'm finally unbanned, so yay. Just try not to get rid of, well, everything. And just get rid of this entire lower body, you don't need it. Just get rid of all this. Now zoom in on the eye and just be uh, as precise as you can. Just doing it roughly for now. This, art, this process is actually a lot easier with manga animation, like manga itself, this is like a fan art, because with manga it's just black and white, so if you have any like bits that you made a mistake on it's either just going to be black or white so it's fine, but this one's a bit more tricky because there's a bunch of more colours and it's not just black and white. So just yeah, keep that in mind. But it's the same process for both manga animation and coloured manga animation. You re-draw um, and also mask. So that's just one eye. I'm only going to do one eye for now. Uh, it's a bit off in the corner here. I'm just going to do that. Leave it like that. And we're going to save it as. This thing I'm using is Critter. Uh, just save this as a separate one. Press OK and before we start uh, you should go to your browser and then download QuickTime. Um, the site I use is just this Apple support one. It's not actually for Apple. It, you don't have to worry about that but you just download QuickTime 7.79 for Windows. Specifically Windows. Unless you have a Mac then you download it for Mac. Uh, then you go to your Vegas Pro options, preferences appreciated features and then you click enable quicktime plugin which I think I just enabled if I go back yeah and then you restart your uh, PC and then you get all of your stuff so the original Sasuke picture the painted one um, as well as the eye which I masked here so we're first gonna get this repaint and what we're going to do is zoom it in on the pan and crop really close to the face so we can get as much detail on the eyes as we can and you don't have to worry about um, like putting it back on the face just yet we just want enough detail on the eyes uh, as we can get and because I'm only doing one eye I'm probably just going to focus on this one eye here maybe not too close because we don't want it to be like pixelated um, think about the length you want your animation to go. I'll probably just do like two notches here so it's quite short. But yeah, it depends on the music you have in the background and stuff like that. So it's best to use that as a reference. Put on the playback. And then put in the eye. You can, you can see it's tiny now, but if you copy and paste the settings from the image beneath, then we can get it like this. Um, now you're going to duplicate the eye, and then on the top one, you're going to mask the eyelid in order to actually close the eye. So we go here, just mask the eyelid quite roughly, like this, and then we're going to mask at the bottom everything but the eyelid. You could have done this on Critter where you did like both PNGs but I just decided to do it this way. 
less hassle, I guess. And then mask everything but the eyelid. Like this. You can see the mask is kind of rough, so I need to uh, fix that. Mask might also be bad because of the mask on the eyelid, so I'm just gonna sort that out as well. So it is the actual eyelid. You want it to be very accurate, and because otherwise it's going to leave like gaps like that, and it's just going to look bad. So. Yeah, I guess that's um, as close as we're going to be able to get it. I'm gonna do it like this. Now we are. I'm just gonna lower the uh, thing first, and we are going to go to the one with the masked eyelid. Go to ignite puppet. Which I might just resave my project. Go to ignite puppet. Generate mesh, and now you can see more detail. That's why I zoomed in, because otherwise it would have just looked uh, like really pixelated, and you wouldn't have much detail. So I'm gonna do pull four points on the eyelash from where I want it to move. Main, kind of like the main points, like the start, in between, like this bend here, so three, and then the last one at the end. Actually, I might do one in between here, and then add a fifth one at the end, just to give it more detail, because the more points you have, the more in detail you are. Uh... Yeah, like that. That should look good. And now we're going to go to the points here. Copy and paste each location, drag the point away, and then paste it back. The reason for this is that I'm going to show you now. Um, I forgot to copy where this was located. But basically, every time um, you take it off, uh, I'll show you here. So, when you take it off, I was going to say there's no green lines. There usually isn't any green lines at all. But for some reason, there was now. But usually there isn't, and the green lines is what connects the point to the tessellation, which is these green lines, and they need to be connected for it to animate. I think because it kind of restarted when I undid my stuff on Vegas, it connected them all. But usually they don't connect, and that's why you have to like take them off and reconnect them. It's a pain, but it's what you have to do, really. Um, I'm not going to make him blink, so I'm just going to make the opening of the eye like all the way at the end here you can make it in the middle if you want them to blink at the end and then at the beginning as well but i'm just going to make it all the way at the end uh, and then drag this down as much as i can to the like eyelid Now, sometimes it can glitch, um, and it's just something you have to kind of work with. Uh, it's probably because I put the points in the wrong, like, location. Um, it's a pain, but you can see if it glitches when you put it back up again. And I don't think it would. Bring this one in a bit more, this one closer. Yeah, 
and then you can see it slowly coming back up again but it will be smoother once you graph it uh, this is the graph I'm going to be using I might tighten it and then if, when you automatically click it goes to Ignite Puppet position 1 so we're going to do position 1 2 3 4 now bring this to quarter and if we just pre-render it oh I realised I put 5 points not 4 so 5 we go now pre-render and that's what it looks like at the moment just with the eyelid now we need to mask this eye so go all the way to the end and with the mask we already have on we're just gonna drag these points down so it's kind of to each point of the eye like this so that when it opens up it kind of opens up like an eye and you need to just basically connect it with fast fades so if it's already all the way up there I'm gonna need to maybe drag it back here just kind of have to alternate so it kind of six um, you can see that it opens mm, slower than the other one does so, but really you're gonna be fading this in so you don't see much of a difference and then fade it in just a bit more can drag the frame down just a bit and then that's how you would kind of animate the eye if you weren't moving the eye it's quite simple and then you would do it with the other eye and then afterwards you would animate the hairs but right now we only want the eye so we're gonna remove the image underneath and we're just gonna have this and we'll go to full And yeah that's all we have so now we would go to render as and then since you download the QuickTime plugin it will give you this you go to the bottom go to customize template choose the template you need so I need this and then you go to the top of this video format and pick a uh, video uh, like animation go to 32 VP color I put keyframe every frame 30 seconds, 30 frames. I don't really know what that does, but I just did it. Video rendering quality best, and then you render it really quick. Which would be both of your eyes if you're doing both at the same time or just doing one separately. It just depends what you're doing. Bring in your original image. Go to files. Uh, wherever your animation um, saved. Is... Now right now you can see it's black and you don't really have to worry about that. I'm just gonna bring the original image which is this underneath as well so I can match up the eye to the original eye but first we're gonna go to properties uh, if we right click the clip properties, take off disable resample, media and then go to alpha channel straight unmatted you can see it's now just an eye it's uh, in, like it's it, well it's transparent now we're just gonna we'll put it all the way back to where it needs to be that looks the same size And now, if we take away the original image and put it where it needs to be, that's what it would look like. And then you'd have the other eye and then you would do your hair animation um, and stuff like that. 
and then I'm going to do a tutorial on the back hair animation because you, you can kind of sometimes see how the back hair moves as well um, as well as in the example I used with Gojo's hair so I hope this was helpful and uh, goodbye.